eyes, my witchy fams. Um, I'm going to show you in this video, it's not going to be a super long video, but I'm going to show you how to make a prosperity money fountain, okay? And this is what I do when finances are tight, you're living on a strict budget, you know, you're trying to make ends meet. Each month you're like, do I pay this bill or do I pay this bill? That type of situation. This is the working that I use to help bring in prosperity. So the first thing, let me swing you around here so that you can see. Let's bring you up. Okay, on Timu, I purchased what's called, you can get a fountain. I actually thought that I had gotten um, a spray fountain, but when it came, I realized that I didn't read it closely enough. This is a bubbler. It's called a colorful LED bubble pump. Lamp, sorry. And I got it on Timu. I did not pay more than $5 for it. This is what comes in the box. It's not that big. And this is what was in it. It's got suction cups on the bottom. It lights up. It has a little bubble thing to blow oxygen. So it's not going to shoot up as a fountain. It's just going to make bubbles. A glass bowl. You can get one at Goodwill. And then we'll plug it in when I get it all set up. I went to Goodwill and I found this. It is like a ceramic dish or a pot. And it came with this top piece right here that sits in it. Now you could probably just set it on here like that. But I'm going to take this top part off, and I know it's going to hide the color lights, but I'm just going to set it in here. And I want to wipe this down a little bit with rubbing alcohol, because I want my frog and everything to be dust free. It was sitting in my witchy room for a while. I got the frog at a garage sale. It was in a styrofoam uh, casing that they had this in, and I saw it, and I just I fell in love with it. And then I have another little ceramic frog that I don't even know where I got it. I must have got it somewhere, like from Goodwill. And it looks real, and I just set him here on the lily pad. And I always make sure that I have real money, and I feed my fountain my bubbler once a week in the very least you can do it more often if you wish then we have some of these from Dollar Tree they're the glass jewels I washed them I'm gonna pull the cord and put these on there to help hold the cord in place to the bubbler. Now you could use the fountain if you wanted to, but you wouldn't be able to put something in the middle then. You know, an icon that stands for prosperity. You just have a fountain that you could still put money, like a wishing well. And that's essentially what this is going to be. It's going to be like a wishing well. Okay, that should be enough. Now, I'm going to take a pitcher of water, just tap water, and I'm going to pour it in here, just like that, and now we're going to plug this in, and let's see if we can actually, I'm going to lift this up because I want to see if it's blowing bubbles.
my little frog on there. We'll shut the light out, see what it looks like. Let me zoom in. Oops, wrong way. Let me shut the other light out. So can you see that? Now it lights up all of your clear glass gems that you got from the Dollar Tree. Let's scoot back so you can see it. There you go. Okay, now I'm going to turn the light back on. Turn this back on. And then every week I add coins and when I add them, you can stick them here, you can put them in the water, you can do whatever you want. You can get a bubbler that's actually working because mine the light's working but the bubbler isn't. Or you could get a fountain and not put anything on top if you don't want to use something that's kind of an idle image to prosperity and whatnot. And I just feed it with coins. I have like a basket that I have with nickels, dimes, pennies, quarters, and I just every week make a wish and keep, you know, keep my intention strong. That's what I'm doing. I'm feeding my my wishing prosperity wishing well is in other words what it is. So this is just an idea for you. And I just wanted to show you how I use it and why I use it and it's it's just really pretty I mean it lights up as you can see and I just have something sitting it could be a little plate it could be a little bowl and I just have it sitting on top and it just kind of puts out a little bit of light and then I'll just you know hold my coin I only pray to the Lord to the Creator I'm a Christian witch, you guys know that. So all my prayers, all my intentions, all my requests only go through God. I don't pray to deities, I don't do any of that. So I just ask God in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. And when you do the Holy Crossing of the Trinity across your chest, I just, I do it like this. I go in the name of the Father, in the sun, you always cross over your chest. You don't go Father, Son, and here. That's not right. It's Father, Son, cross over, Holy Ghost, Amen. And you can put your coin in your hand and pray to the Lord. Ask Him to bring you prosperity. Ask Him for the other things that you need to improve your situation or problems that are weighing on your mind. And just Put your whole faith into the Lord, into the Creator. And then when you're done, ask Him if He sees fit to help you and to bring you prosperity. Add it to your well. So long, be safe, and be good to each other. Bye.